Welcome to O Noob Gaming, where we are about to do some World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic Hardcore. All right. So once I'm in the game, I'll explain hardcore if you don't already know what it is. Bound to the iron will of the tyrant Lich King, the vast undead armies of the Scourge seek to eradicate all life on Azeroth. Led by the Banshee Sylvanas Windrunner, a group of renegades broke away from the Scourge and freed themselves of the Lich King's domination. Known by some as the Forsaken, this group fights a constant battle, not only to retain its freedom from the Scourge, but also to slaughter those who would hunt them as monsters. With Sylvanas as their Banshee Queen, the Forsaken have built a dark stronghold beneath the ruins of Lordaeron's former capital city. This hidden undercity forms a sprawling labyrinth that stretches beneath the haunted woods of the Tirisfal Glades. Though the very land is cursed, the zealous humans of the Scarlet Crusade still cling to their scattered holdings, obsessed with eradicating the undead and retaking their homeland. Convinced that the primitive races of the Horde can help them achieve victory over their enemies, the Forsaken have entered an alliance of convenience. Harboring no true loyalty for their new allies, they will go to any lengths to ensure their dark plans come to fruition. As one of the Forsaken, you must massacre any who pose a threat to the new order. Human, undead, or otherwise. So, basically, you can't group with anybody after first level. And at first level, you can only group with hardcore people. And so if like if my friend Sire Taste was to join at first level and we grouped, then he's the only person I could group with from then on. And if he was sick and couldn't get on to play, then I couldn't play. I could only play when he's online. Now there's no using the mailbox. There's no using the auction house. There's no trading with other characters. You can only trade with the person you, that is your approved teammate. You could trade with them and that's it. So, it's hardcore. Once you die, you delete. Unless you're recording, in which case if you get, uh, say, a disconnect and you die, a DC, whatever, however you want to say it, and you die, you could upload it to prove to the moderators how you died. They can approve you to uh, keep going. But I'm not going to mess with that. Probably not. So this will probably be a short scenario unless I die, delete, and, and start another character to keep the series going. But anyway, uh, let's get going. So first level warrior, hardcore. Just using what I find, and that's it. Beware. Not using the auction house is going to be tough. You know, not being able to sell stuff to make money, to buy, you know, more healing potions, stuff like that. Now... Blitz are supposed to be coming out with official hardcore servers sometime soon, I guess. I don't know when. I know they're working on it. But this is an actual add-on to make it hardcore. And I figure a warrior has the best chance of survivability. Now, I feel like the, let's see here.
I feel like the dialogue is a little bit low. So I'm going to up that a little bit. And maybe the master volume will come up a little bit. Now, you saw what server I'm on. And you saw my other character names. So, if you happen to get on those servers, feel free to whisper me and say, hey. Alright, what am I doing? Mindless zombies and wretched ghouls. Alright. Oh. Uh, let's see here. Options. Uh, 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 action bars. Let's go ahead and get the other action bars up. And let's see. Controls. Auto loot. Wait. What what happened? Go back to options. Action bars. There we go. Alright, so cannibalize, let's put it over here. Heroic strike. Let's put it right there. Attack we'll put right there temporarily. Now, I'm not sure what day of the week this is going to come out. I might have the volume turned up just a little bit too much. This is going to be on Thursday or Friday. Now let's see here. And uh, I'm filming this on Sunday. I just got out of the hospital on uh, Saturday. I spent 36 hours in the ER. And 17 hours in a hospital room. Went in for shortness of breath, which they could not figure out what's causing it after having CTs and stress tests and nuclear x-rays and ultrasounds but they did find out that I have a a mass attached to a thyroid in my neck and a cancerous looking uh, how did they put it um, cancerous looking uh, lesion on my spine Oh, and a 50% blockage in an artery going into or out of my heart. I can't remember which it is. So, I'm not... They weren't that concerned about the 50% blockage. They don't get real concerned till it's 70%. So, they gave me a bunch of referrals. to various clinics. Oh, I don't need this guy, but I'm going to go ahead and kill him. A bunch of referrals. I got six to eight referrals, different clinics. All 
I was supposed to have had surgery Wednesday. They canceled it. I was in the hospital. And they canceled. They called me and can't. I'm like, and they canceled it. I'm like, I'm already here. So they came down to talk to me in person and said, well, you were just in urgent care Monday for shallow breathing or trouble breathing. So we're going to cancel it. So then the next day I had another attack of it. So I went to the ER and was there three days. But it, it's just weird that they can't figure stuff out. Oh, I guess I should go back. I'm so busy talking, I didn't even notice that it was completed. Hey, baby. This had better be good. Uh, six. Five. Goodbye. Victory for Sylvanas. I haven't got all day. All right, let's see. That's better. I can't ever read those. They're so dark. I know that's to go to my warrior training. Move it out of the way so I can sell all this. That's a 12, and that's a 12, okay. I think the person to sell to is over here also. Yeah, let's sell this guy. It better be good. Oh, it's good. Embrace the shadow. What would you ask of death? Beware the living. Speak quickly. Power time will come. All right, so let's see. Removes any charm, fear, or sleep. Let's see, let's bring that down and put it right there. I don't need to bring anything else down. Battle shout. Let's bring that right there. All right. I got to kill Rattle Cage Skeleton, Scavenger Paw, and Dusk Bat Green. Dusk Bat Wings. Who's in here? Oh, there's a guy. So I haven't played, I mean, I'm playing Wrath of the Lich King now, Alliance. I've been playing for just over a month. Uh, previously, it's been three years since I played. Uh... And then before that, it's been way back when it was before, you know, on retail. Well, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't three years. Because this hadn't been out that long, it was just classic. 
when Classic came back out, I played with some friends, which was three years ago. I need this guy, don't I? That's what it was. But I just started back on this. I don't know. I'm not quite sure when this started. But anyway, it's been a month and a half on this. But I didn't want to do hardcore on Alliance. I'm like, let me do something different. So I jumped on Horde. Did any of that make sense? I'm not even sure any of that even made sense. I kind of feel like I'm about to have one of my not thinking clearly moments. Do I have gloves on? Nope. I know I got those on. playing horde. In fact, I've got a horde tattoo. But I've been playing Alliance. I've made a good friend playing Alliance. I'm in a in a guild and met a lady friend who lives in a different state. But she has turned into a good friend, as good as you can have online, you know, just talking through Discord and stuff. But she's been real concerned about my health and stuff, checking on me every day. Wish I had charge. Her name is Crystal, and I have really enjoyed talking to her. That's in case she watches one of my videos. That's a shout out to her. All right, I don't need those yet. My eyes are not that good anymore. I'm okay. Here's some of what I need. I can see the ye the yellow names. I just can't read them that far. Male. Yep, gotta switch to that.
You know, if you play a warrior, you find a lot of male armor to, to wear. If you play a uh, thief, you find some leather armor. If you play like a priest, you find some cloth, but you don't find near as much as you find male. That is useful. In my opinion. You'll find the same stuff. You know what I'm saying? You might find the same leather, you know, like, see right there? Leather wrist, leather wrist. You'll find the same stuff over and over and over. Oh, I didn't even notice. I, find, I found the bag. There we go. Yeah. I ain't gonna worry about that. What do I need? Bats. Feel like I'm getting lightheaded. <laughs> Dizzy, however you want to say it. Been recording 23 minutes. Might be shorter than that. I need to edit out some of my talking silly stuff that don't make no sense. Hey, dude. Love that hair. Strength and honor. Hello. Hello. Embrace the shadow. Shut up. Look at that. Two quest items I can't use. Which one's going to be worth more? Probably the leather. Do not seek death. No one. What is it? Oh yeah, taking the pants. No All right. Anybody else in here got it? Nope. What is it? Trust no one. Be quick about your business. Beware. Our enemy is about. Oh, a little bit better weapon. This had better be good. You know what? I probably should have trained first. Because now I may not have enough to be able to I train. Forsaken. I didn't think about that. So I can only train one, damn it. Watch your yep, back. I didn't think about it. Uh Samuel's remains. What do we got? We're at twenty six minutes record. Now, hardcore makes you think a little bit about what you're going to do. And I'll tell you why. 
Now, at this point right now, since none of this stuff is aggressive, it don't matter. But you have to think ahead. Like, you can't just randomly charge in. Man, I'm starting to get dizzy. I might need to take a short break and check my blood sugar. You can't just charge in because if there's multiple creatures, you know, like you can't just like run into this room here without looking because if there's three guys standing over here and you don't see them and you get jumped, you ain't gonna survive it. Or if you're fighting this guy and he turns and runs out or you kill him and he pulls this guy and then pulls this guy and you get add-ons you're not going to survive it so you have to kind of think before you do anything all right i know where the spiders are uh let's see samuel's remains Rome's at a ruined camp along the road. I think that's right over here. If I remember correctly. What's his name? Sam Samuel. Samuel down here? There he is right there. Alright, let's back up. Tell you what, let's go on to the cemetery since we're right there. We might as well turn them both in. See, it's a little bit better wrist. Or three. Go ahead and turn this in. Grace. Grace slick or Grace's lick. Goodbye. Alright, let's go kill some spiders. We saw them. I think they're right over here. Let me get a sip of my water. So I came out of the hospital. I was in there. The doctors checked me, you know, said they came me in. They did, did a check. There was like four doctors. Said, okay, we're going to they went over everything that all the test results and stuff again and said okay uh we're going to release you it might take a couple hours but we're going to release you i said okay well to me a couple hours is two three at the most
Well, the nurse keeps coming in saying, uh, I haven't heard, you know, gotten anything from the doctors yet. We're just waiting on the release papers, waiting on the release papers. Five hours later, coming up on six, I mean, we're talking five and a half hours later, coming up on six, I'm like, screw it, I'm leaving. I'm getting dressed, nurse comes in, what, what's going on? I'm like, I'm leaving. Like it's it's been almost six hours, I'm going home. You know, I'll come back and you can take out the, uh, the IV stent or whatever, you know, they put, put it in you in case they need it. So she's like, well, well, let me go tell them. She leaves. She ain't gone two minutes. She comes back. They just sent it to me. Now, what's the chances of that? I don't believe that saved my life. That shit has been there. She just ain't, she forgot to go check. So, anyway, she checks. She takes out the IV port, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you call it. Or maybe it's just called IV. I don't know. And, because I've, I, you know, I finished getting dressed while she was gone. And she's like, you going to call somebody to come get you? I'm like, no, my truck's out in the parking lot. And so... She just lets me go. They didn't even put me in a wheelchair and roll me downstairs. So I walk downstairs, walk across the street, get to my truck. The battery's dead. I had left the lights on. It was a little bit dark when I left, so I turned the lights on. When I left the house that morning, but when I got there to the hospital, it wasn't dark anymore, so I didn't notice they were on. And when we bought that truck used, it ding, you know, the door dings all the, when you open the door, it dings all the time. So I'm so used to it dinging, it don't even remind me that the lights are on anymore. It just dings constantly. So, it didn't even click in my head that I had even turned the lights on. Alright, is there a treasure chest in here? Nope. Is there a special spider in here, by chance? Guess not. You know, if spiders were really that big, mankind would be exterminated. The spiders are so fast and strong. Anything special? Oh, there's a chest. I figured there was a chest somewhere.
And luckily, when I was in the parking lot, I lifted up my hood. And at that exact moment, well, not exact, exact, I texted my friend, hey, my, my uh, truck's dead. I guess I'm too close, too close to charge. And she drove in and said, you need to jump. So she pulled over, she had jumper cables, even though I had some. And uh, it only took just a couple minutes of her letting hers just run. And mine cranked, even though it had been sitting there with the lights on for, well, they weren't on, it had run the battery all the way down. But it just took a minute, a couple minutes. And mine cranked. She was there because her husband was in ICU. I forget what part of her of his body, but something in his body had ripped loose and was kind of had fallen and had compressed one of his lungs. So he wasn't he was breathing on one lung. So they had to go in and whatever the part was, get it out of the way and tie it up, I guess. The way she said it, somehow secure it, is the way she said it, out of the way. What would you ask of death? And then... Trust no one. Inflate his lung back or something. Beware. Our enemy is about. And... He was in ICU, and then uh, what am I doing? I forgot what I was doing. Oh, and then uh. Oh shit. Okay. Farewell. And she said he's in recovery after the surgery but he they got a tube down his throat and when they wake him up he bites through the air tube they got to keep him on air with the tube down his throat for a while to see how he's going to breathe and stuff but when they go to wake him up he fights so they got him tied down to the bed and he bites through the, the tube through his mouth. So back. they sedate him again. So he's been sedated multiple times. Attack that target. And uh, they've tried to wake him up multiple times. And every time he bites through the tube. So she said they were putting something in his mouth to stop him from biting and we're going to wake him up again but she had left to go home and get some more clothes and stuff before they did that and she was coming back for that and she was nice enough to stop and help me before she went back in the hospital now I can't say to make a long story short because it was already too long wasn't it all right, we're at 41 minutes. I need to kill this guy. Turn it in, or kill these people. Turn it in. And then I'm going to call it a video. All right. 
hardcore. Get to took 17 minutes to get from level four to five. Son of a slow. I'm definitely have starting to have a, a period of mental slowness. I can I can definitely tell. My mental capacity capabilities is starting to suffer. You just thought you was going to cast a spell on my ass, didn't you? I started to do a, a rogue instead of a warrior. Because a rogue is is awfully fun, but I figure a warrior's just got the best survivability. In my opinion, I don't necessarily mean it's true. I mean being able to heal yourself as a paladin but I didn't want to play Alliance again It's a big old hunk of meat. Point six two point two. You know, I probably, let's see, let's go up here real quick. Uh, macros. There we go. Let's pull this down. Get rid of that. Now, every time I charge, I will say... Or the horde. Now this server is so empty. 
On the Alliance side, you can stand in the bank in Stormwind for five minutes and only see two people run by. And those two people might be in the guild I'm in. It is, I've never seen a server so empty. I mean, I like it, except when I want to buy something from the auction house and there's nothing on the auction house. Oop. All right, just need one more. And then I'm going to turn this in. There we go. I'm going to turn this in, then end the video. And then we got to, well, there'll be a quest to come back and kill this guy, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll do that later. And then after that, the quest is to go to the next town. Pretty sure. And then I think there's a guy down over there that you pick up to... To, uh... Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Yes, anyway, there's a guy over there somewhere that gives you a quest to go to the inn, I think. I am forsaken. Beware the living. Oh, is that 2.7? Two 2.1. Remember. Oh, gotta go here first. Power time will come. What now? Nothing new, okay. The shadow. Uh Okay, well let me end this. Alright everybody, thanks for watching me play uh, World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic Hardcore. This will be episode one. And uh, what I do? I made it to fifth level. In less than an hour. It's been 50 minutes. Uh, please hit that like button. Leave a comment of some type. And uh, everybody have a great one. And peace out.